What's up deputies? Officer First 30 Minutes here. Today we are doing another bait car episode. Stracify has finally updated his bait car mod to be compatible with the newest releases of Rage plugin hook. Today's unmarked vehicle is just going to be this blue Crown Vic. I removed most of the antenna, um, but everything else is hidden. The lights are pretty much hidden. I mean, it's pretty obvious it's a cop car, but hopefully we're going to be far enough away where that's not a problem. As you can see, today I'm wearing a mask. So you'll see this typical in a lot of police officers who do undercover missions, especially a bait car where they might be seen. They'll wear masks so their identities are not compromised. So let's go ahead, pull up our menu here. Of course, we have the nicest of vehicles. Let's go with this Dominator and request that to our location. We'll request a Dominator. We're going to leave it here in this alleyway, and we're probably going to back up near the car wash and just keep an eye out for it. We will have a kill switch for the vehicle, which we can activate as soon as someone gets in it. All right. I'm just going to leave it right here in this alleyway. Pretty noticeable just a vehicle running here so we're gonna go ahead and back up and wait for somebody to come get it I've got my lights turned off as well so it just looks like I'm an unoccupied vehicle we're gonna go back here by the car wash just keep an eye out on the dominator and wait for somebody to get here it's one of my favorite mods and it's got a lot of history with me especially in GTA 4 you can even go on my channel now and check out uh, LCPDFR big car videos I might do one in the future for GTA 4 it's been quite some time but I've had some crazy crazy incidences where people have stolen the car uh, I've tailed them all the way back to their gang hideouts and then we now I called him back up and we were able to take down um, a huge gang hideout normally ends in a lot of bullets flying everywhere so far no activity on the bait car it's about 7 p.m. game time seen a few pedestrians out we're in the strawberry area it's it's known for having a lot of thefts and vehicle thefts so it's a pretty good location for our bait car here it looks like a black male is walking up to the dominator let's see if he continues pedestrians are definitely in the area I can see a bunch of them walking back and forth up the road nearby okay now it looks like we have a white female walking towards the bait car or black female it's hard to tell all right we got one individual in the bait car we're gonna go ahead and follow them for a second see if they weed anywhere substantial oh my goodness they are driving off-road don't want to lose a bait car apparently we've been spotted now go ahead and activate the kill switch calling some local patrol units for backup because this is kind of a gang heavy area we can 18 uh, bait cars occupied one time by a black female she's out on foot now RP she's out on foot get out my gun we're headed uh, westbound up forum drive female in a light colored dress see if we can catch up to her she got the taser on her all right go ahead and make the rest got you covered Lincoln 18, show one in custody. Good job. Backup was fast. Um, nobody was shot at. That was a pretty smooth operation there. Shout out to the LSPD. Here's somebody coming already to pick her up. We're just going to stick with her until she is picked up. Here he comes. There you go, officer. I right, got one in the bag. Let's head back to the bay car here. If it's still there, go ahead and search it. Nope, bait car has completely disappeared. 
So one successful operation already. We'll probably move around to a different spot since it's been kind of compromised. We will continue our bait car operation. We're in our new spot. Let's go ahead. I'm liking the uh, Dominator. It's probably our cheapest option on that list for a bait car. Hopefully you can get to me okay. We're kind of in this alleyway back here near the strip club. We're gonna leave it parked here. It gets a lot of pedestrian traffic coming through. Should be coming right around this corner. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the mini map. That way I can't track the big car when it gets stolen via the mini map. All right, big car has arrived on scene. Let's go ahead, we're just gonna leave it parked by the street, pretty close. Same situation, just leave the vehicle running like that. Here's our bait, I mean not our bait car, here's our police vehicle. Let's back up the alleyway here. We'll keep a lookout, see if anyone is interested in that bait car. Actually, this is a pretty good hiding spot over here. Right across, right against this uh, wall right here. I can see the Dominator pretty clearly. And we will wait to see if anyone grabs the bait. I do appreciate all the suggestions and advice I'm getting on the SWAT 4 game as far as in terms of tactics going in there. You know, sometimes I can be a little brash. That game does take a little bit of strategy in order for your teammates not to just get wiped out instantly. In terms of damage, bullet damage is pretty realistic. It only takes a few shots to have somebody completely put out. So you do have to have a little bit of a, what's the word, delicacy? Not delicacy, but um, <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying. Oh, I just activated the lights. All right, uh, vehicle is occupied. We got a black male in the Dominator. We're gonna be trailing him now, see if he goes anywhere. Let's go ahead and cut on my lights. We're following him here. Stopped at the red light. We'll tell him for a little bit, see if he goes anywhere that is of significance. So funny if you watch the big car episodes in real life that uh, used to be a TV show. They always make up excuses. Oh, I was just taking it for a ride. I was picking it up for my friend. It's kind of funny. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and kill it right here. Go ahead, and get back up on scene. Attention, all units. Assistance needed. Weekend 18. Bait occupied one time. Black male. Waiting on backup to arrive, and then we're gonna move in here. All right, of course, this is going to be a felony stop. Guns are out. We don't know if driver is armed or not. Driver, step out of the vehicle. This is the police. Driver, out of the vehicle. Don't make me shoot you. No sudden movements on the ground right now. Cuffing the suspect. Week in 18, we've got a Michael Lopez in custody. Good work, guys. Go ahead and search him. Okay. Empty bottle of uh, some beer on him. All right. So, Michael, what we're going to do is go ahead and place him in this unit here. If it'll let us, they're going to take him in for us. All right, let's search the Dominator to see if he dropped anything in here that he had on him. It's possible he could have had drugs. 
saw me activate the kill switch and decided to stash him somewhere in the bait car. That's why I do check. Okay, just finding a pocket knife. All right, so we're gonna get the bait car cleared up and move to a new location. We are at our next location, right next to Premium Deluxe dealership. Let's go ahead, request the bait car again. We're gonna go with our Dominator and we're gonna wait for it to get here. It's a pretty good spot. It's uh, close to Strawberry. We're just barely on the border of Pillbox Hill. Another kind of rundown area where there's been a lot of crime as of late. Once the vehicle gets here, we're just gonna park it in this alleyway and probably just reverse back towards where that white vehicle is and stake it out. All right, big car has arrived. Same deal, let's just go ahead and Place it like this kind of forces them either to drive by us or at least turn around just giving us some time so we don't lose the bait car real life I would imagine this thing would be GPS tracked so you really cannot lose the location of it but turning off the map it just adds a little bit of a challenge to this patrol it is possible to lose it all right, we're just parked right here next to these other vehicles. Hopefully a potential thief will not be startled. If you are too close to the bait car, it is possible for a thief to get startled and just run off and that would just kill your location. A lot of times these people who steal the cars are in contact with other people and they will alert them that there is a police officer nearby. So we'll sit here and wait. Got an individual walking up to the Dominator. Looks like he's just gonna pass by it. Maybe check in and out, who knows if he'll call somebody else and let them know there's an abandoned vehicle out here. It's a pretty good spot because you would think potential thieves might stake out a dealership for a car that's left unattended. I know in my area we've had vehicles that have been stolen right out of dealerships vehicles that have had their wheels and rims lifted a lot of times when these vehicles are stolen they go straight to a chop shop which where the vehicle is completely disassembled and sold for parts can even happen to motorcycles as well of course they're not going to get retail value for it but it can be a substantial amount a money to them especially if they bring in a lot of stolen vehicles and it can be hard to track once all once the vehicles disassembled into parts it can be hard to tell where it came from right have another individual looks like he's just gonna walk on by it the street over here is getting a lot of pedestrian traffic Had probably six or seven people walk by there. Just checking this other alleyway as well. In real life, for a big car operation, it would require a bunch more units. You would have anywhere between five or six units strategically positioned around the block. So no angle would be left uncovered. But for LSPDFR, we're kind of stuck with a single unit until we actually move in and make that felony stop. During a real life operation, you can have officers waiting in upwards of two to three hours just to grab one thief off the streets. So a lot of times it is just a, a wait and uh, sit and see type of game see if anyone actually takes it and sometimes the bait car it never gets taken it will just stay there which I guess is a good thing because that means the area um, either has no thieves or you were discovered at some point and uh, word got around I'm gonna move around the building
got an individual crossing the street. It's like white female in a white dress. She looks like she's headed straight towards the bay car. Female's getting very close to the bay car. Checking out the area. We'll see if she takes a bait. All right, she's in the bay car. Pete, she's in the bay car. Let's go ahead and move, move into position for takedown. Looks like she's gonna drive around the dealership. We're gonna follow her. She's taking a right. We're on Adams Apple Boulevard. She's two vehicles in front of me. Let's see which way she goes. Looks like she's headed back towards the strawberry area. Making a left hand turn. Vehicle was just occupied one time. She's using her turn signals, so at least she's obeying traffic law. Turn on our turn signal as well. I'm gonna wait till I get directly behind her before I activate the kill switch. Hey, Headed southbound Power Street now. Now we're into Strawberry. Not exactly sure where she's headed. We have no idea if she's armed or not. Third thing you have to take into consideration is activating the kill switch in an area where they can't take any other civilians in as a hostage. Like right now, there's just kind of too many cars around. And now she's positioned herself within these two other cars. I don't know what she's thinking, but we do definitely have to be cautious. Probably activate it once she makes his left hand turn, calling some backup. I think I'm gonna call in a air unit as well since it seems to be getting a little dark out. And then we will proceed from there. I don't like how I'm stopped on the train track, so. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. Oh man, I really hope this other vehicle moves out of the way here. Alright, these two other vehicles are just stopped here. Attention all units, we have a code 99. Uh, I can't call in an air unit Chamberlain unless I'm in a pursuit. Hill. Vehicles occupied one time, waiting on backup to arrive. Come on, other drivers, you need to move out of the area. Come on guys, we're not playing around. Driver, go ahead and step out of the vehicle for me. At least the locking mechanism worked that time. Sometimes it doesn't and they're able to escape the vehicle, but it didn't look like she was going to go anywhere. All right, let's go ahead and make the arrest. She went in without a fight. We got Calicia Diaz. Week in 18, show one in custody. Let's go ahead and search her. Good job, guys. Every operation we did tonight went successful. We didn't have any injuries. No shots were fired. That's what I like to hear. She just has a partially eaten hamburger. All right. Let's go ahead and place her in my car. 
and I'll go ahead and search the Dominator to see if she dropped anything in there. All right, ma'am, have a seat in Get my in unit. The car and behave. All right, let's search the vehicle, see what we can find. We're also going to search her name for warrants. Okay, we got a baggie of meth, so she's going to be getting some possession charges as well. We'll clean up this bay car. And that does not mean you can go freely, though. You piece of crap. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Chamberlain Hills. Copy that, dispatch. So that Animals seemed to be kind of a glitch. If you in or clean up the bay car, the prisoner she's gonna get out of your vehicle and walk away I was gonna search her for warrants but now we're just gonna wait for transport to come pick her up hey. all right we're gonna hand her off so guys that's gonna conclude my bait car episode hopefully you did enjoy it as always leave me suggestions on uh, patrols you want to see and I'll see you guys on the next episode